Today we're going to cover how to get this fabric into usable pieces for your quilt. So if you're ready to turn one big piece of fabric into strips that you can use, please stay tuned. Our basics for, for cutting strips of fabric are our the rotary cutter, the 6x15 rectangular ruler, the 15, I'm sorry, that is the 6x24 ruler, and then this is the 15x15 15 15 square ruler. And we also need, um, you also need your cutting mat for, um, could because you don't want to cut the table or anything that you're that you're using okay I like to start with a diagram so here is a diagram of my son's quilt that we're going to be working on today and I'm going to be cutting the horizontal strips which are yellow on here and I'll also be cutting the black uh, the vertical strips from the same fabric and because I'm using um, two I'm using one fabric for both. I'm going to change the orientation of um, the cuts just a little bit so that the design goes the same way. All right. So first, we're going to start by cutting the horizontal strips, and it's interesting because you have to cut them vertically for the strips to lay the right way. Okay. So what we're going to do to start it off, I have my um, fabric here that's already been washed in warm water with gentle detergent, dried in the dryer, and pressed so it's all set to go. And I have it already folded in half with the, um, and then um, folded over itself, okay, to make it easier for me to cut. All right, so we'll start with <clears throat> the square ruler. And what we're gonna, what I'm gonna do is just get a um, a nice straight edge to start with cutting. So I'm just gonna take one of these yellow lines and line it up with the bottom. Okay, and I have about a half inch on this side. So I'm gonna take my square, my rectangular ruler, the long ruler, and butt it right next to the square ruler, and then move the square ruler away and give this a nice cut. Okay, so that leaves a nice straight edge for us to start cutting. And for our horizontal um, strips, I'm gonna cut four and a half inches at a time. So I'm gonna need eight of these strips to get the, um, well maybe nine, no, I need eight of these strips to get the um, the ones that I need for the horizontal. Okay, so it's weird that I'm going to cut it. I'm cutting it by the length. So for the horizontal, I'm cutting by the shorter side. So four and a half. And so I'm just going to rest the um, I rest the edge of the ruler at the four and a half mark, and then I'm going to cut at the other edge. So I'm holding it firmly. And get a nice cut okay and so I'll do two more and then I'm gonna move this away for just a second at this point I'll just stretch it out like this and there are lots of different techniques for doing this I'm just gonna do it um, just straight up because it's right now it seems like the easiest thing to do um, cut off a nice straight edge there again just placing I'm just going to hold the bottom edge on the yellow line and let it be. Take the other ruler, put it up next to it. Okay. And give it a nice smooth cut. And then I'm going to take my um, my square ruler and so now they're four and a half inches um, wide so now they need to be twelve and a half inches long so I'm just gonna take this ruler again pick a spot and line it up and then put one end at the twelve and a half mark make sure everything is lined up nicely 
and then 12 and a half and then give it a cut okay and then I should get three of these from each one so here we go lining up at the 12 and a half and then line up the bottom And then this one looks a little weird, okay. but I think it'll be okay. Now it's time to cut the vertical strips in the quilt. And so I've reset the fabric and I'm going to do the same thing that I did before to make that straight edge on the end. So placing the, um, the edge of the fabric, just picking a point on the ruler. So placing that square ruler and then butting the um, the 6x24 ruler next to it, removing the square ruler, and then cutting at that edge. That gives us a nice straight edge to start. Now for the um, vertical, we're actually going to make long horizontal strips for the vertical side. And they need to be 12 and a half inches. So I'm just going to do the same thing that I did before, except instead of using the four and a half mark, I'm going to use the 12 and a half mark. And so I'm going to cut these into long strips and then I'll um, cut each strip into the four and a half inch rectangles. Okay, so there's one big 12 and a half inch. Okay. And okay, so I need to do one more of those, but I'll do that off camera. So what I want to do is I'll take one of these. I'll just take this one since it's already laying here. And I I'm gonna get I should get nine um pieces off of this one. So what I'm going to do is just lay the whole thing out. Again, taking some of the, um, taking that selvage edge off. All right, by lining the ruler up. Okay. And then butting the smaller ruler up next to it. Okay, and there are probably much more, um, there are probably ways that you can do this by stacking, but I'm not going to stack it just because I don't trust myself enough yet with the, um, with these, this fabric. So I'm just going to go one at a time. So these are now the four and a half inch pieces and my goal is to get nine. So let's just hope. All right, so... One, and then, and I'm lining up the bottom edge of each one of these on a line of the ruler to make sure that it's square. Two. Now I want to take a second just to show you what it looks like when it's all together. Just so you can see why I cut them in such a special way. I'm going to take out one of the jerseys and lay it out. Alright, so what you'll see is the squares that I cut horizontally, they actually will be the vertical so that they're all going the same direction. So there's one and here. And then the little squares will go here and here. And the ones that we cut going vertically, they actually end up being the horizontal. Because we just want to um, make sure the design is all going in the same direction. Okay, so if you have any questions, please comment below. Thumbs up the video. Rate, comment, and subscribe. See you later.